Oh, hey, Ed. And anyone else that might be watching. You may be wondering, what's Marco doing out here? Why isn't the vlog out? Where's City Date with the boys? All fantastic questions. And I'll tell you why. Because I've been busy cooking. And I bet you, Ed Fuggle could tell you what I've been cooking. Isn't that right, Ed? You might remember this dish from, um, oh, your 17th birthday, yes, when I made uh, the uh, hot and sour beef salad. Yes, well tonight I'm doing a little variation on it, I'm adding some fried rice and uh, using the Padma Mung sauce, so hopefully it should turn out quite nice, but I think more importantly is what cooking tonight has made me think about. And for those of you that don't know, Edward Fuggle is a year 12 student at Dramana College. He's got big ears, lovely, lovely uh, smile, great smile, great friend, great friend. But recently I've gotten to thinking and uh, I just think that you know, maybe Ed just needs to be knocked down a, a peg or two. Now, for those of you who are unaware, me and Ed have had a little feud going on for a little while. Just a, just a little feud over who can... It started out with who can just cook better steaks. And I think what Ed would like to say is that's what it's still about. But if he's saying that, he's wrong. Because he's challenged me with a plethora of dishes. Granted, they've all been meat-related, but not all entirely steaks. And that's where the problem comes in, you see. I will openly admit, Ed, Ed makes a better steak than me. Ed cooks a fu- I wish I could cook steaks as, as well as Ed can. But, to say he's a better cook than me, mm, that's where I'm going to have to draw the line. Because, Edward Fuggle, you and I both know that when it comes to any dish that doesn't have meat in it, you're nothing. You're worthless. Challenge me in Thai cuisine, you'd lose. But the problem is, the problem is, you could brush it off with a cheeky laugh. You could brush it off saying it doesn't matter. You could say, oh, I can still make better steaks than you. So to really knock you down a peg or two, I can't just beat you in Thai food. I can't just beat you in something we've both never tried before. I'm challenging you on your own turf, Ed Fuggle. You and your big grin and your big ears are going down because I challenge you term three in the first two weeks back to a steak cook-off at school, on school barbecues, on the school basketball courts. And if you decline, Ed Fuggle, I suppose it just means I make the better steaks, don't I? And I suppose it means I'm the better chef in the end. And really, Nothing you ever say can deny it because you ran away from this challenge. And I'm not saying we could get away with this because we probably won't be allowed to do it. But I'm saying that for you to not accept is pretty much an admission that I cook way better food than you ever will. So, look Ed, that's terrible lighting, but take it or leave it. On this day, what day is it? I think it's like the 21st. On the 21st of whatever month it is, I challenge you, Big Ears, Nathan Burns, called you Jesus Christ, Ed Fuggle, to a stake off on school property to prove once and for all that maybe your ego's a little too high for your admittedly very tasty steaks. Because I'm coming for you, Ed. I'm fucking coming for you, mate. Not actual for real. Who turned off this fucking gas canister? This is ridiculous. Hold on. Victor! Yeah, I can't get the uh. Can't turn this on, Victor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, what? How'd you pull that off? Wait, was it open that whole time? Oh. What? What? That's it, that's all I needed, Victor.